as we prepare for a men's semifinal between Chicago Machine and Denver Johnny Bravo. His throwing prowess and even just a little bit of wind can be a real difference maker. Bansfield coming underneath. White's first touch continues for Giannis and a low throw scooped up for the opening goal. With marking responsibilities shifting and transferring all over the place. Alice Atkins scoops it forward. Noah Kuhlman keeps it rolling. Quinn Finer gets his first touch, sending it deep. Kuhlman up the line, elevates and scores. Some contact from Xavier Payne. Kuhlman hangs on regardless. What all? Pretty seamless switch there as Frude rotates onto Giannis. Goodness! Joe White's throw had no target. Here's Abel. Marshall's open. Got Arnstein with him. Frude is totally free, and somehow Machine's defense just completely broke down. Five or six? I, I, I want to go down the roster and scrutinize it. White beats Spicer to the outside, and Giannis throws his second assist to all. One of the things about this Bravo O-line is I mean, they, they haven't relied on Atkins making superhero plays. Sure, he's made a few of them, but it's been very balanced, kind of workmanlike system offense, and now the deep shot goes, and Atkins is open by three steps. Great star from Salt Lake City out of BYU. Bansfield with a low laser that never had a chance. Uncharacteristically, just did not put the right stank on it. And now another turnover gives it right back to Machine. Giannis in the end zone. He's been involved in all three Chicago scores. Set up. Atkins throw hit a tuft of win, but Tabor kept it alive. Now Finer feeds Atkins up the line. Back for Quinn, for Tabor, and through a tight space, but Kuhlman is there. Nice work by those cutters that had been occupying that left sideline, clearing out and opening up space for White. Looking for White, Ag got the block. Test, Matthew Ag at your peril. And Nate Goff liked the matchup when the throw went up, but A.G. got there first. Now White tries to rip it away. Hodling calls a foul. Sounds like we heard some observer audio indicating okay. clean block yeah. by White. One observer had that and the other disagreed. Bravo's going to keep the disc. Stoughton keeps it moving. Samrin lefties it back for Stoughton to Wells. To the end zone for the break. <laughs> Floater too far. Frood pokes it down. You know, if what a strip is in, yeah, in our I, sport I, right I'm, now. I'm, I'm more interested in focusing on the live action right here. Yeah, that's fair too. Olsen for the break. Abel has another. Bravo. Doubling up machine 6-3 in this first half. And it's after they lost the UK Nationals, I believe, for the first time in forever. Greatest attempt, it's there! Luo keeps it alive! Rutledge scores the goal, but no! Out of bounds is the ruling. And Bravo will take over as the score comes off the board. Luo's foot was on the sideline as he jumped, so he was out of bounds. Miscommunication there between Hodling and Wells. But Tim Schock wouldn't let it fly. His teammate does. McHale's deep shot is hauled in by Jake Steslicki, but hang on. Oh, okay, all right. That angle we had not seen, and I saw a tug. Sorry, right, but I felt like I got tugged down, so I don't think I would have seen it. Do you not feel like that happened? I feel like there was the typical boxing out that happened. I just, I just, I, I really. Okay, we're, we're, we, we need to send it back because unless you're going to retract, so. 
You can see this Bravo offense trying to force the disc back to the center of the field. Well, Victor Lua doesn't get the greatest, but he does get the goal. Even when it's a short five-yard throw, to get low, bend their knees, and ensure that the disc has the appropriate zip behind it in these slightly windy conditions. Coolman Scoober, Tabor scores. And that was not in, apparently. Pansfield kind of begrudgingly takes it back to the line. Pretty good defense from Arnstein, but finally Pavel finds a millimeter of space. Good time of year to be feeling your best or close to it. Seriously. Nether cut contested, and he calls a foul. He's a longtime member of ring. Nether cut will embrace the boos that are raining down upon him from the crowd. On the shoulder. Yeah, after I hit it, you didn't touch the disc. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Okay, all right. We heard, we heard, yeah, we heard both arguments. <laughs> Do you want to come to us for a ruling or do you want to leave it as a foul contest? Okay, observer ruling. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, observer ruling, it was a foul. The chemistry between these Mama Bird products, Connor Tabor, Alex Atkins, Quinn Finer. And up the line to take half, another perfect half from the Johnny Bravo offense orchestrated by Alex Atkins, Connor Tabor, and company. Atkins using the whiff. Kuhlman takes the shot into double coverage. Machine in the red zone, looking for the first break. Machine's a team that was just a little bit of momentum could go a long way. Valley. Atkins kind of seeds the reset and up the line to McHale. We saw it last year, Ian, and we've seen it a lot of years. Sometimes the, the team with the best O-line that catches fire late can win a championship. Atkins, deep shot, hauled in by Beaches. Certain players have stopped. It's not clear why. What a grab there from Beaches. One of the most underrated pieces of this Bravo offense. Oh, that throw, though, loops over his head. McHale is still out there for the Chicago D-line, and the huck goes up. Goff battling, and he dropped it! I don't hate the decision from Payne. That was certainly catchable. Nethercut sending Atkins. He's got the size. He's got the disc. Bravo on the goal line. Missed opportunity for Machine to get back within one. Atkins immediately floats it to space, and Seth Ferris lays out for the score. What a decision there. I see Bravo fans wiping their brows, having heart attacks up here in the stands. Oof. It's rarefied company right there. Nice dump defense from Cody Spicer. I mean, Joe White was not open, but Johnny Fans Bansfield just broke the mark. And that is a offensive pivoting and handling clinic as opposed to trying to take the higher percentage reset. And yeah, their cuts evolved. Oh, there's a miscommunication though. Coolman thought Finer was gonna keep moving forward. Break chance, Tim Schock, 9-8. High throw, Buckholz brings it in. Ooh. Stoughton for Cochran. To AG. Sounds like an incredible group. There, there's a really cool moment after Washington DC scandal beat Phoenix yesterday in the quarterfinals. Get to that thought in a moment. White's deep shot for Arters. Beats Arnstein, who very nearly got the block. Nethercut for Finer. Atkins is going. Goff there defensively. And Atkins says he had it. Okay, so is Atkins' argument that Goff's foot kicked it out of his hand? 
that's that's a turnover. <laughs> I, I don't think so. so. If that's where we're at, then I'd like to go to you. Okay, yeah. all of those things are true, right? So observer ruling, okay, it is not a foul. You initiated the contact with Nate, all right? So it is a turnover, so no foul. No, it's fine. We're good, we're good, we're good. Manny Jackson sets the mark on White, who swings it, and it's incomplete. Nethercut picks up for Spicer. Atkins shooting. Eddie Jackson is there. For a sliding north who swings it quickly. Shanahan keeps it moving for Arters. Look at this pace. Back to Shanahan. A little pirouette on the goal line. Reset for Arters. And into the end zone. It's north. Man, he didn't play a lot early in this game, but with the injury to Tabor, getting more run late. Key spots, Atkins unwinds, floats it up, and it's easily intercepted by Shock. Back to Gao. Goff for Nelson, to Goff, to the end zone, and a score. 11-all here in the semis. Wells setting ready to try to center to Spicer. But the defense prevented it, and there's contact. And Finer, Hodling, Stoughton, Semrin, Ag, also out Contest there for no? Bravo. Yeah. Contest. Okay. He ran into me, going into me. I was ahead of him. He ran okay. this way. Okay. Observer, are you coming? coming no. Okay. Observer ruling. It was a foul. Okay. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> there was no count, right? Yeah. Not sure Johnny Vansfield is convinced, but he will move on. It's a heck of a program as we see Semrin throw a little shove. Bravo's not here to make friends. You can see the chaos. Oh, Stoughton dropped it. Valley picks up. Rutledge shoots into the end zone. And it's dropped on the second effort of a berth in the final. Oh, that's a tremendous catch by Hodling. And then he throws it away. Bansfield gets underneath Spicer for the block. Excellent handler defense from Hodling, but they get it to Lou anyway. Bansfield and Finer, it's a heck of a matchup. Johnny goes over the top, and he missed his spot. Coolman on the brink. He wants to be sure, but he's running out of time. And he throws it away. Valley rips it. Goff versus AG. Nate Goff lost it on the way down and called a foul. So I feel shades of the Goff Atkins incident. So the disc goes back to Valley. Up the line near the sideline in the sixth turnover of the point. Another risky one. Goff takes it easily. But machine's disc in the red zone. Excuse me. Yeah, machine keeps the disc. Bansfield not going to get there. Jay Frude's forehand finds Spicer. To Atkins. Hammer floating. Caught! Eric Hodling puts an end to an odyssey of a point. I can tell you that the field itself has cooled down because the sun has gone down, but it is definitely heating up on the sideline. There are many players who are on the sideline who are feeling like they're defending the honor of those who are on the field, and it is very exciting, if maybe a little bit chippy down here on the sideline. Arders looking for Malik Ajay Samar, accelerating into the end zone. The contrast between those two points could not be starker. Oh, oh goodness. Uh, 
Little spin move on the reset from Kuhlman. Floats it high. Tabor's there. I mean, that's just unguardable. Looking Atkins. Bansfield doesn't get it. Atkins with the score. And Bansfield that, pushes. Oh, after my the goodness. Spike and tempers flare at 13 12 in the semis. Red card issued to Johnny Bansfield. His night is done. So here's the hammer. Atkins makes the grab. There's contact from Bansfield. He stares him down, gives him the emphatic spike, and that's just too much for Bansfield. And temper's got to be flaring there, but you cannot cross the line and shove someone. That, that may be acceptable in a hockey post-whistle scrum, but that's not acceptable within the confines of the rules of this sport. And Bansfield rightfully objected, ejected, and honestly, there should be some kind of consequence for Nate Buckholtz too there. I, that, that's regretful because Johnny Bansfield's a great talent. He can bring a lot to the game. He's incredibly capable, incredibly intense. He's been a star on this semifinal and finals field in the past. I've never ejected somebody I was never hoping to. But that was just, he kind of, he brought that on himself. The observers had no choice. Johnny Bansfield is on the sideline, and thanks to some clarification from Wally Kwong, our observer here in the booth, he is required to leave the field after receiving a red card. There's Johnny hopping over the fence. Uh, we're, we're getting word that there were some also personal misconduct fouls assessed, not clear on whom. We'll try and get some more information there. Personal misconduct fouls a yellow card. Back to action, looking to tie the game. Joe White's backhand is perfect. Keegan North runs it down. Tabor's out there, but he's downfield in the stack. And a fun wrinkle there. Oh my. Oh my! Beaches apologetic as Shogren elevated over everybody and got undercut in the process. And Shogren shaken up. And Machine has a chance again to take their first lead since the score was 1 0. Goff gets it to White. Atkins on the mark. To North. Can Joe White cook here? Slip it through. It's Arters. It's Machine's lead. Coleman continues and Bravo scores. Beaches makes it 14 all with one more point to determine the first men's finalist. Bravo defensively with Semrin, Finer, Frude, Cochran, Kuhlman, Stoughton, and Spicer. At the other end of the field, Arters, Goff, Ajay Samar, Kerr. White, Giannis, and North. White to North. Tight space throw, but Giannis maintains it. Pavel resets for White. Fakes one way, looks the other, and it is over. Arters catches the game winner, and Machine is moving on to the finals. An all-time semifinal ends with Paul Arters catching the game winner. Machine 15, Bravo 14. And once again, we will have a new champion in the men's division.